I'm so happy I'm sitting here to tell you in person how Thank amazing. You. I'm like, where's his Oscar? Where is it at? Who is that? The famous Bob Russell. In 41, you called for a large scale march. I had heard about Bayard in college, but then when I was digging in and started doing the, the, all the research, I, I just became in awe of this human being and this, and really fascinated how somebody, this march would not have happened without him. This moment was not about me but it was about all of us and all of our work. It was about the, the collective's work. And you gotta excuse me, this is my first time really talking about this film, and I think there's a lot of it still inside that hasn't come out yet. Like you said, I just, I haven't been able to do press about it. The thing that I feel so proud of is that, you know, yes, I am the central character, but this film is made by so many loving people, and I couldn't do anything without them. Barack and Michelle are also EPs on this project. Absolutely. Did they have any input or were there conversations with them about? Um... Yes, absolutely. I got notes. I got notes, you know, and, and, and because they're both smart writers and both smart storytellers, they were great notes. Thank you to Netflix and our Higher Ground team for bringing this story to life and organizing tonight's special screening. So, without further ado, I want to introduce someone who knows a little something about making history. Y'all, please welcome my husband, Barack Obama. In 2013, I had the honor of awarding Bayard Rustin the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And it is hard to overstate Bayard Rustin's influence on the civil rights movement. He helped introduce the Gandhian concept of nonviolent resistance, helped advise Dr. King, served as one of Dr. King's key advisors in the Montgomery bus boycott. He helped organize the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. This is one of the seminal figures that changed the course of American history. And yet, for decades, Bayard Rustin was denied his rightful place in history. And the main reason was because back in the 40s and 50s, he was openly gay. No film can ease the pain of generations of Americans who face discrimination because of who they are and who they love. But Michelle and, and, and my hope is that by telling Bayard's story, more people will appreciate leaders like him who brought America closer to its highest ideals. We're here in DC. Yes. How much filming actually took place here? We were here for five or six days in August when it was 117 degrees. And once the sun finished hitting the marble at the Lincoln Memorial, it turned into 120. And when I tell you, it was extraordinary because you knew that you were on sacred ground of people who came to do the good work and to get into good trouble and to be an angelic troublemaker. It was so meaningful to do it here. That's why I'm so glad that you know, our teams made sure that we shot on the mall. It was beautiful and historic, and I'll never forget it. 